Did the morning come too early? Was the night not long enough? Oh my God! Does it hear a hesitation? I hope she doesn't. Hi, y'all. See us. Hi, Betty Sue. Carly, I can't figure out if this is Reba or Dolly. Will y'all help me? Betty Sue, it's Garth. No wonder her voice sounded so hoarse. If y'all are looking for Brandon, I saw him down at the music store. People reach new understandings all the time. They take a second look, maybe change their mind. Oh, this is so exciting. I remember when I first met Brian. Butterfly stomach, sweaty palms. Or, is that the flu? Uh oh. Carly? Carly Adams? It's me, Gavin! Gavin Pepkis! And Farm Club! Uh, Howie Hilbert, third grade. Uh, Gavin was president, I was secretary of dirt. Gosh, I can't believe it's you! It's like, it's like, uh, it's like... It's like, it's like it's Romeo like and Juliet. Sleepless in Seattle! Uh, blood-sucking leeches from Mars. Uh, sorry guys. Carly has to be getting back to the planet Earth now. Blood-sucking leeches from Mars? I got nervous. She's so pulpitinous. Where have you been? Carly, I have called your house six times. What's wrong? I saw the man. He was here a half hour ago. He might still be here. Oh, I don't know. What if it happen and how we find us again? We might want to get out of here. Carly! Carly, where are you? He's here. I mean, at the music store. Hurry! There he is. Check out the smile. Definitely a 9.9. .9. <laughs> you just walk right over there and say, Hi, I'm the big hair girl of your dreams. Definitely not. Poise, grace, control always impresses the judges. I know. Pretend like you think that he works here and ask for some help. Hi, Brandon. Oh, uh, hi, Carly. What's going on? Uh, have you studied for Hemingway's test yet? Yeah, I'm kind of into that class. Yeah, English is cool. I really like Miss Hemingway. I like that poem she read. Cascades of liquid gold. Kind of reminds me of the color of your hair. Uh, <laughs> well, I gotta run. Uh, but I'll see you in class. Cart, did you see that smile? He is definitely on to you. Shoot, I forgot all about it. Yeah, English is cool. I really like Miss Hemingway. I like that poem she read. Cascades of liquid gold. Kind of reminds me of the color of your hair. Uh, <laughs> well, I gotta run. Uh, but I'll see you in class. Cart, did you see that smile? He is definitely on to you. I still have to study, but it should be easy. I'm not worried. Yeah, English is cool. I really like Miss Hemingway. I like that poem she read. Cascades of liquid gold. Kind of reminds me of the color of your hair. Uh, <laughs> well, I gotta run. Uh, but I'll see you in class. Cart, did you see that smile? He is definitely on to you. Remember, you're on the rock aisle. So ask about someone cool. Go get him. I need help finding a CD. That new band, Poet? Oh, uh, I don't work here. Um, but, hey, don't we have English together? If we do, I think there's a test Monday. Uh, I haven't even cracked the book. Uh, how about you? Oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you worked here. You ready for Hemingway's test? Uh, I haven't even cracked the book. Uh, how about you? Right, you're Brandon. Shouldn't you be studying for Monday's test? Uh, I haven't even cracked the book. Uh, how about you? I need help finding a CD. That new band, Poet? It's for my brother. Oh, um, I, I don't actually work here. But I suddenly wish that I did. M maybe I could help you find it anyway. Let's see. We've got... Black Crows, we've got Counting Crows, we've got Cheryl Crow, 
What is up with all these crows? What's next? Like, you know, eating crows? <laughs> oh, hey, don't we have English together? Yeah, you've got that class totally wired. Well, you would too if you ever studied. That's exactly what Hemingway said. Uh, here's your CD. I gotta go. Bye. Car, be a little nicer next time. You're doing pretty well yourself. English is cool. I really like Miss Hemingway. You know, I saw your play last week. Usually, Shakespeare just puts me right to sleep, but not you. You were incredible. Well, here it is. The new band poet. So I'll see you in class Monday. Save me a seat. Bye. Carly, you are the smoothest. Carly, we have to go. It's almost six. You are going to get so busted if you're late. We made it. Wait, where are your parents? Aren't you supposed to have dinner with Graham? Check the mirror. Honey, we're going to eat dinner at Graham's. Spaghetti's in the pot. Have fun. Love, Mom. What are you waiting for? We still have time to catch Brandon. Hi, Mom. Is there any way I could stay out a little later? Sure, honey. Thanks for calling. Hi, Mom. Is there any way I could stay out a little later? Ooh, no, honey. Graham will be here soon. Carly, I gotta go. I have to babysit the Barton brood. Do you have any idea what time it is, young lady? Your grandmother was so disappointed that she didn't get to see you. Honey, we had an agreement, remember? Six o'clock. Where have you been? I'm sorry. I lost track of time. I should have called. That would have been nice. We were worried. I'm docking your allowance. Maybe next time you'll phone when you're going to be late. I forgot. I thought you said seven o'clock dinner. Carly, I am in no mood to be lied to. We agreed. Six o'clock. Good morning, everyone. Today you are learning about the essence of life in its most basic form. Science is poetry in motion. <laughs> Back to bite me, boys and girls. Come on, don't give up. I mean, not every meeting is Romeo and Juliet perfect. Just blow them away in class on Monday. So what are you going to wear? He is intensely cute, and he couldn't stop looking at you. What are you going to wear on Monday? If that doesn't get his attention, the man is comatose. So, do you want to babysit for me tonight? I mean, I don't think I can take another night of Power Ranger hell. I have to study for the English test. Do you hate me? No big deal, really. I mean, Monday is major. So, just give me a call tomorrow, okay? Sure. I owe you big time for today. I'll ask my mom. Uh, cool. Ooh, actually, I really need the money to buy a prom dress, if Brian ever gets around to asking. So uh, give me a call if you want to ride to school on Monday. And don't be late. Another tardy, and I get a detention. Hi, babe. I just saw the man renting a lot of movies. He's home alone on a Saturday night. Better get to it before somebody else does. See you at school. Oh, it's McKee, if you hadn't guessed. <laughs> Asta. Hi, Carly. It's Jane Barton. Can you babysit the boys next Friday night? Probably 8.30 to midnight. Samantha can't. Please let me know. Hey, listen, can I borrow your copy of Jane Eyre? My mom washed mine. <laughs> Bring it to school, okay? Thanks. You've got some major explaining to do, young lady. Well, we just got a call from school, and they said that you had cut class. Ditching is totally unacceptable. I think you can forget about the prom. Hey, Carly, you didn't happen to remember that book, did you? It's in my locker. I'll give it to you after class. Hey, Carly, you didn't happen to remember that book, did you? Oh, man, I knew I forgot something. I'm sorry, Trish. Car, I really needed it. I hope Kim has a copy or I'm history.
Hey, Carly, how was your weekend? Places, places. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend is over. You have ten minutes to complete the test in front of you. Eyes forward. Begin. Have you figured this out yet? I should have studied more. Me too. Oh, piece of cake. I like that. Beauty and brains. <laughs> Excellent work, Connie. I'm impressed. Hey, there's a party at Oyster Bay Friday. Maybe I'll see you there. Carly, didn't you study? Did you blow that as bad as I did? God, I hope next period is better. What do you mean he just told you about the party? Read between the lines, girl. Major score. I told you he liked you. I can't believe he didn't ask you out. I mean, you look so cute in that outfit. I don't know. He must have been distracted. I mean, what with the test and everything. I am telling you, he likes you. Sweetheart, your mom and dad tell me you're really doing well in school. I'm so proud of you, dear. I know it's not much, but have some fun with this little reward. Love, Graham and Pop. Fifty bucks? Man, I want your grandparents. They are so cool. Speaking of studies, I am swamped, and you've got lots to do here, so I'll call you. Carly, your mother and father seem very concerned about your schoolwork when we had dinner. It's important in life to always do your best. Love, Graham and Pops. I'm in a mall mood. You want to come? Hey, what's this? Hey, Carr, it's Bry. There's a campfire at Oyster Bay Friday. Do you and Sam feel like going? Call me. I'll pick you guys up. Bye. It's Richie. You're going to love me. John Weiss told me that there was a campfire at Oyster Bay Friday. Hot dogs, marshmallows, oh yeah, and Brandon Barnes. He's nuts about marshmallows. Don't forget to wear something that goes with a green Porsche. Let me know if you need wheels. Asta. Hi, it's Brandon. I hope you make it Friday. Later. Smith Residence. Hey, Bri. I'm going to skip the party. I have to babysit the Barton Terrors. <laughs> Smith Residence. It's Carr. Sam and I will totally be there. We'll catch a ride from McKee. McKee, you're not going to believe this. I can't go. I'm babysitting the nightmares on Elm Street. Hey, McKee, guess who? I can't wait. Pick Sam and me up at my house. I've got to find something to wear. Eee, my bad luck is legendary. I can't go. I'm babysitting Friday. Marshmallows! Get your marshmallows right here! The bus oh, hey, Carly. Uh, it, it's me, Howie Hooper. Hey, uh... You got a date for the prom? Howie, uh, I think that would be a big mistake. <laughs> you and me? Howie, you're sweet, but I can't date marshmallows. I'm on a diet. <laughs> you and me? Oh, Carly, be serious. I've already got a date. I'm going with Gertrude Flegel. See, I was thinking that you and Gavin might make a great couple. Gavin? I think he really needs a girl with disco potential. That's a definite no, then? She's already got a date. Let's switch. I'm tired of alligator wrestling. Uh, marshmallows. Get the marshmallows right here. Play the game and win a bag of marshmallows. Woohoo! Marshmallows. Get your marshmallows right here. Get your marshmallows. Play the game and win a bag of marshmallows. Oh, bad luck. Try again. Winner! Winner! We have a winner! Here you go. Oh, Carly, I just tried... Boyd! Gregor! Jake! 
Get the cat out of the wash machine now. I just tried to get you at home. Gregor just super glued the G.I. Joe to his forehead so we canceled our plan. Here's twenty dollars for your trouble. I'm so sorry. Boys! Hurry, hurry, step right up, young lady, to win one of these fabulous prizes. Brandon won't know what hit him. But be subtle. You don't want to intimidate him. Yeah, I can't believe you said that. This is the 90s. Guys need to get used to stronger women. Back me up, Connor. You're right, Mickey. We should stick to our guns if we're right. This girl's sharp. So, did you bring the marshmallows? I think guys don't want to fight any more than we do. Compromise doesn't mean you're weak. This girl's sharp. So, did you bring the marshmallows? Right here. I got them. Go for it. I knew I forgot something. Oh, I can't believe you forgot the marshmallows. Brandon loves them. I can't believe there's no marshmallows. I mean, the whole point of a campfire is the dang marshmallows. Oh, hey, Carly. I don't suppose you have any marshmallows. <laughs> it must be my lucky night. I mean, how often is it that a gorgeous girl comes strolling into your life carrying marshmallows? You know, you really look great. I'm really glad you made it. I guess it's my lucky night, too. Let's go find some sticks for these little guys. Come on. Oh, the firelight brings out my naturally radiant hair. <laughs> Let's go find some sticks for these little guys. Come on. I love campfires. They make you feel safe, even when you know it's pitch dark out there. I love it. Nothing's better than just totally escaping. No one and nothing to have for you. Gosh, Carly, I am so glad that we finally got together. I mean, I can't believe that you've been sitting in my class all semester. I must have been blind. This is cool, but I'm not into, like, going on safari. I like my creature comforts, you know, hot showers, dance clubs. Gosh, Carly, I am so glad that we finally got together. I mean, I can't believe that you've been sitting in my class all semester. I must have been blind. I went to a theater arts camp every summer up in the mountains. I loved it. I think my mom was a little hurt because I never wanted to come home. <laughs> Gosh, Carly, I am so glad that we finally got together. I mean, I can't believe that you've been sitting in my class all semester. I must have been blind. I think things happen when they do for a reason. You know, like fate. Oh, no, I, com I just, rem I completely forgot. I have to take John Weiss to the airport. Um, I know this is short notice, but would you like to have dinner with me tomorrow night? Well, I guess that makes two of us, but I'm really glad we finally seen the light. Oh, no, I, com I just, rem I completely forgot. I have to take John Weiss to the airport. Um, I know this is short notice, but would you like to have dinner with me tomorrow night? For you? I think I could rearrange my busy social calendar. <laughs> <laughs> great. That is great. Cut it. I can't wait till tomorrow. Absolutely. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> great. That is great. Cut it. I can't wait till tomorrow.
blowing it. You have to go pick him up. Oh, please. She's not his personal servant. Carly, just be yourself and go talk to him. So what do you think? I'll take her. It's my turn to drive Mackenzie. Hmm, nice buns. <laughs> Excuse me? Hi, Brandon. Oh, hi, Carly. I was just scavenging for some marshmallows. What's up? Hey, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hey, hi, Carly. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff to munch here. You see anything you like? Hot dog buns. I was looking for something. Well, buns I have. Marshmallows, that's a different story. <laughs> hey, I, I know this is real out of the blue, but... Would you like to go out to dinner with me tomorrow night? Sure, why not? I'm sure I'll be pretty hungry by then. <laughs> Eight o'clock. Mario's. And I promise, no marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I got a split. I told her I have to take John Waste to the airport, but I'll call you. Bye. Tomorrow night sounds great. What time? <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock, Mario's, and I promise, no marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, I got a split. I told her I have to take John Waste to the airport, but I'll call you. Bye. Should I bring a stick, or do they serve marshmallows by the plate? <laughs> Eight o'clock, Mario's, and I promise, no marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I got a split. I told her I have to take John Waste to the airport, but I'll call you. Bye. Oh, those pigs, they ate everything in sight. I guess I could share some of my marshmallows with you. <laughs> hey, Carly, I was wondering if you are going to show up. God, I could just kill for some marshmallows. Hey, I'll tell you what, let's go find some sticks. I sure could go for some marshmallows. How about you? <laughs> hey, Carly. I was wondering if you were going to show up. God, I could just kill for some marshmallows. Hey, I'll tell you what. Let's go find some sticks. I've always had a soft spot for feeding stray. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carly. I was wondering if you were going to show up. God, I could just kill for some marshmallows. Hey, I'll tell you what. Let's go find some sticks. Good morning! Your mom told us we could wake your lazy butt up. Or worse to that effect. Come on, Car. We want the dirty details. How to go with Brandon. No way. Carly, you can't hold out on us now. We need a gossip fix. Can't you busybody see I'm getting my beauty rest in case my lover boy call? <laughs> we walked, <clears throat> we talked, a little hand holding, maybe plans for dinner tonight at Mario's. <clears throat> no big deal. Major chemistry. <laughs> the best thing that's happened to me all year. <laughs> I've seen this before on the young and the reckless. <laughs> Carly, someone's here to see you. Oh my God, it's him! I need his Porsche! I need his him and his Porsche! Oh. Carly, get up. You've got to get dressed. Okay, here you go. First dress. Okay, this is Carly. Cute. Oh, what's that, that one? I like, I like this, definitely. Oh, we're wrong. Oh, cute! Oh, that motorcycle look. Oh. Mm. <laughs> here you go. Oh. Sorry to wake you up. Um, hey, I got called into work. Could you meet me at Mario's? Wow. You look great 24 hours a day. Hey, I got called into work. Do you think you could meet me at Mario's? If you want to go out on a date, come and pick me up. Oh, well, that's too bad. Uh, maybe another time. I got to get to work. I'll see ya. Oh, sure, that's no problem. Great, 
Great. Well, I'll see you tonight then. Bye. Oh, yeah. Brandon got called into work tonight, and he asked if you would meet him at Mario's. Guess what? Brian is actually taking me out to dinner. Something good is coming our way. I can feel it. Later. Oh, you must be Carly. I'm Lars Larsson from Goatland. Goat? I'm sorry. This is beyond the biggest night of my life. Shoo, shoo! Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm an exchange student. Goatland? I don't have time for jokes. I'm late for my date. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm an exchange student. Right. Uh, Lars, don't you go to Madison? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm an exchange student. How National Geographic, but I really have to go. Bye. Carly, Carly, I'm sorry I'm late. Did you get my message? I called your house, but, you know, the phone here's been busy for an hour, and finally I asked my friend Lars to come down here and get our table for us. Are you ready? Exchanged? Well, I hope they got a full refund. Bye. Bye. Carly, Carly, I'm sorry I'm late. Did you get my message? I called your house, but, you know, the phone here's been busy for an hour, and finally I asked my friend Lars to come down here and get our table for us. Are you ready? Right, I remember. What are you doing here? Uh, Brandon asked me to come uh, keep you comfy. He's late. Uh, I live with him. Uh, exchanged. Really? You live with him? So, what's he like? Uh, pineapple pizza, uh, days of thunder, and Porsches. <laughs> Lars, hey, man. Hey, dude. Carly, Carly, I am so sorry I'm late. Work was a nightmare. Hey, man. Thanks a lot. Sketch you later, man. All right. You know, he's trying. Shall we? So, do you miss anything in Goatland? Uh, pineapple pizza, uh, days of thunder, and Porsches. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, dude. Carly, Carly, I am so sorry I'm late. <laughs> Work was a nightmare. Hey, man. Thanks a lot. Sketch you later, man. All right. You know, he's trying. Shall we? Barnes, 8 o'clock. Table for two, by the fire. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm a sorry, senora, but you were so late, I had to give the table up. <laughs> I can seat you in uh, two hours. Two hours? It's up to you. Barnes, eight o'clock. Table by the fire? Yes, sir. Right this way. Uh, let's go someplace else. Sure. I know just the place. My uncle owns this place. I spent, like, every summer here. That's my favorite horse. Thanks for being so cool about this. You know, I wanted tonight to be special. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Carly, would you like to go to the prom? I'd love to, <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> I'm really glad you said that, because I have so much fun with you. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> I'm really glad you said that, because I have so much fun with you. <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask me. <laughs> I'm really glad you said that, because I have so much fun with you. For not to push over, Carly, just let me tell you you're in there. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a very nice, yes. I have found a wonderful table for you. Right this way. Do you like it? I couldn't think of a better place to have our first official date. Oh, it's so romantic. It's perfect. I'm glad you like it, Carly. I wanted tonight to be special. Listen, there's, uh, something I've been thinking about all day. Would you... Good evening, like... folks. I'm Jerome. Would you like something to drink? Uh, a couple iced teas would be great. Thanks. 
What I wanted to tell you, or ask you, is would you like... Your iced teas. Would you like to hear the specials? That was really fast, Jerome. I need a minute, okay? Uh, anyway. Definitely an awesome choice. I'm glad you like it, Carly. I wanted tonight to be special. Listen, there's, a uh, something I've been thinking about all day. Would you... Good evening, like... folks. I'm Jerome. Would you like something to drink? Uh, a couple iced teas would be great. Thanks. What I wanted to tell you, or ask you, is would you like... Your iced teas. Would you like to hear the specials? That was really fast, Jerome. I need a minute, okay? Uh, anyway. I won't ever be able to come here without thinking of you. I'm glad you like it, Carly. I wanted tonight to be special. Listen, there's, a uh, something I've been thinking about all day. Would you... Good evening, like... folks. I'm Jerome. Would you like something to drink? Uh, a couple iced teas would be great. Thanks. What I wanted to tell you, or ask you is, would you like... Your iced teas. Would you like to hear the specials? That was really fast, Jerome. I need a minute, okay? I'll give you another moment. Thanks. Uh, anyway, I wanted us to come here tonight, because I'd like you to go to the prom with me. Yes. <laughs> It definitely, it, yes. Awesome. Oh, I am so glad you said that. If you had said no, it was going to be a brutal dinner. Carly, we're going to have a great time. I promise. Oh, of course. I'd love to go to the prom with you. Awesome. Oh, I am so glad you said that. If you had said no, it was going to be a brutal dinner. Carly, we're going to have a great time. I promise. Perhaps we can order now? Oh, yeah, right. Food. Uh, Carly? The chicken parmigiano sounds great. Mm. I'll have the fettuccine alfredo with lots of parmesan cheese. Thanks, Jim. nervous about tonight. Seems like I'm always just talking non-stop. <laughs> um, you know, I, I want to know something about you. I really love acting, but it's also really intimidating. There are so many great actresses. But, hey, I'm a dreamer. Ever since I saw Susan Sarandon in Thelma and Louise, I wanted to be an actress. Of course, before that, my mom dragged me to every ballet class she could find. <laughs> I still plie every time I grab a stair railing. Let's see, I got the lead in the summer production. We're doing Albie's Birdbath. It's very intense, which is cool because if I sing another Broadway musical with Howie Hooper and Gavin Pepkins, I'll scream. <laughs> Man, it's, it's so great that you know what you want to do. I'm still trying to figure it all out, you know, but... That's what Dad says college is for. <laughs> this cheesecake is so good. I could eat this seven days a week. Yeah, and I'd be rolling you into the prom in a wheelbarrow. I'm totally powerless against anything sweet. Including you. Yuck. That would ruin the occasional dessert splurge. I'm totally powerless against anything sweet. Including you. Definitely. Let's get another piece. I'm totally powerless against anything sweet, including you. No sweat. Lars is sweet, and my friends and I are expert matchmakers. He's so weird. It's going to be tough. I know just the gal. I'll find him a date. I can't believe the prom is only a week away. I'd die if I could actually find dresses like this in town. Not me, honey. I'm broke. Darling, I just found the loveliest Dior for only ten grand. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right, McKee. You die without easy advice. Oh, no, it's the formal. Should I wear Doc Martens or flip-flops? 
You guys, I can't believe that Brian and I are actually going together. <laughs> you guys are going to have a blast. <laughs> this has been such a great year for us. Stop it, yeah. Brian. Yeah. Really. Stop it. You two were made in heaven for each other. <laughs> this has been such a great year for us. Stop yeah. it, Brian. Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 I can't believe I'm going with Brandon. It's like a dream. This has been such a great year for us. Yeah. 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 Really. You guys are like, you know, my family or something. Junior year has been the best thanks to you guys. You're always there for me. Oh man, Trish is getting sappy in her old age. Oh, wouldn't it be awesome if one of us actually got to be prom queen? <gasps> Seeing your friend get it is almost as good as being it. I hope it's you, Sam. You and Brian are so great together. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I just know this party is going to be such a blast. <laughs> well, we better get going before the only thing left are ugly bridesmaids' dresses. Are you coming, Carl? It doesn't matter who it is. This prom is going to be so awesome. I'm so glad we're all together. I love you guys so much. I just know this party is going to be such a blast. Well, we better get going before the only thing left are ugly bridesmaids' dresses. Are you coming, Carl? Sam deserves it. She had to babysit the Barton brats this whole year. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I just know this party is going to be such a blast. Well, we better get going before the only thing that's left are ugly bridesmaids' dresses. Are you coming, Carly? Oh, I can't right now. I have a ton of stuff to do before I go to work. Well, I'll go with you later. Call me. Hey, I found my dress. Simple, elegant, and way too expensive. I owe my mom major bucks. Have you found one yet? Call if you want a ride to the formal wear store. I can't wait. Sam here. Hello, sweetie. I know the prom is coming up, so I gave your father $20 towards your dress. Take lots of pictures. You're my angel. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. You've grown up into such a talented, beautiful young woman. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Mr. Adams, how you doing? Great. Come on Good in. Good to see you. Wow. Carly, you look incredible. These are for you. It's uh, made of marshmallows. It's beautiful. It's, it's like you. It's like everything about you. We're going to have a terrific time tonight. Hope you feel like dancing. Brandon doesn't stand a chance. We want all the juicy details at lunch. Asta. Welcome. Today we have a little test. <laughs> Ready? Commence. Carly, this is my private painting time. Go away. Go. Yes. Hey, get out of here. This is my beat. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, Carly. I was just serenading my violets. Would you like to help me? Mm -hmm. Carly, what are you doing? You can't just walk out of school. Get a grip. Good luck when your parents catch me with this. Lars Larson? Oh, sweetheart, yes. I've had my eyes on that gorgeous northerner since the day he rode into town. I love his adorable French accent. That is French, by the way, isn't it? Hi, it's me. Of course you can borrow it. I'm finished. Oh, cool. Thanks, Carr. I knew I could count on you. Hello? Sorry, I haven't finished it yet. Maybe Kim's done. Definitely. That girl is so disciplined, she probably had it done by spring break. 
Well, thanks anyway. Hi, Mrs. Barton. I'd love to sit Friday. Oh, great. I was really worried I couldn't find someone. I have a really important awards dinner. Anyway, we'll see you on Friday, okay? Goodbye. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Barton. I'm really sorry I can't sit. I have other plans. Oh, well, maybe next time. The boys just love you. I really appreciate your calling back. Gregory! Bye. Boys! Aren't you ready yet? Carly, I told you I can't be late to history class or I'll get a detention. Now move it! Hello? Oh, rise and shine, Slowpoke. Let's jam. I want to get to class early. Oh, I can't believe I overslept again. I will be right over. Hello? It's moi. I definitely want to shop. Friday is D-Day with Brandon. Cool. We can go shopping for marshmallows for lover boy. McKee tells me he's, like, addicted to s'mores. I think that's so cute. You ready yet? Girl, I was born ready. Except for my hair. What a pain. See you in 15 minutes, and don't forget to bring the marshmallows. Hey, if you need a ride to Mario's, call me. Asta. You're not going to believe this. My parents won't let me go to the prom unless I find a date for Lars. You're not going to believe this. My parents won't let me go to the prom unless I find a date for Lars. Hey, McKee, you ready to shop? Almost. I got to clean my room first. Hold on a sec. There's another call. Hello? Just remember, he's tall. Hey, are we going to find you a dress or what? I don't think I can go. We can't find Lars a date. What am I, chopped liver? I'll go with him. He's a cutie. McKee, you are the best. Get your butt over here. We're going shopping. Call an ambulance. It's time for my electrolysis appointment. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend is over. You have ten minutes to complete the test in front of you. Eyes forward. Begin. Game saved. A Madagascar three banded bumblebee. These are Poisonous. Isn't he Aries with Libra rising? Not a wise choice for a Pisces like me. He was a Texas cowboy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make him mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Goatland, we love. We exchanged. Oh. He was a Goldman Cowboy, yeah, yeah. always looked so fine. Goldman Cowboy, I'm gonna make him mine. Yeah, yeah, good. Lars Larson, his cheekbones are far too angular. I don't believe I'm the answer to your problem. And to finish your assignments, I gather you liked it then. You know, a good math problem is like taking a 5 a.m. run in the rain. Totally invigorating. Let's just help you get as much mileage out of this assignment. You may begin. Hey, Carly, check out this trumpet solo. Quiet in the back. Eyes on your own paper, or it's an automatic failure. Mr. Idell? Okay, begin. You've got some major explaining to do, young lady. Good morning, everyone. Today you are learning about the essence of life in its most basic form. 
science is poetry in motion. <laughs> Back to bite me, boys and girls. Lars? Why, he's much too landlocked for a fish lover like me.